Good morning and welcome to our Palm Sunday Children's Service. So uh, welcome back to those of you who were with us last week. Welcome to those who are with us for the first time today. Uh, so we're going to start with a little opening prayer and then we're going to light our candles. As you can see we've got a little prayer table set up. It might be worth having a prayer table uh, for you guys going forward in your homes. Somewhere that can just remind you that you're in the presence of God. So let's pray. Father God, we want to welcome you here today. Lord, as we enter this uh, holy week, we just ask you to really bless us and help us to focus our minds on what you went through during Holy Week uh, and the, your journey to the cross. And so I pray that today we can focus on you being a different kind of king. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good boys, who would like to light our candles? Me, me. Okay, Getting a bit low. So as we light our candle, we say, Jesus, light of the world, come and be with us. <laughs> Try not to tap it down, just hold it over there by the wick. Good boy, Isaac, well done. Don't blow it out, don't blow it out. Okay, Daniel, you can come and light these other two. No, but no. Oh, can I bring that out? Why does it sit next to mummy? Sit down, darling. Good boy. Nice and sensibly. It's hot up there. I just get No, don't put it like that. Why? Because the flames go up. That's why. I <laughs> wiggled it. Okay. Oh, wee. What's that? Yeah. I don't know if you get that. Good boy. Okay, boys. So, as a starter activity, you can find the starter activity resources on the website. It's called Different Kind of King Resources. Uh, so, if you've got a printer, feel free to print them. If you haven't, you can just look at them. So, we're going to be using this resource as our starter activity one. So, boys, do you want to come and So, what I'd like you to do is imagine that you've been invited to a special party and you need to go via one of these forms of transport. So, you can go via the tank, in a jet, in a Lamborghini, that's a fast car, the donkey, the helicopter, or the boat. Isaac, which one would you like to choose? How would you go to the party? What's that mean? Which what is, one it? is it? Helicopter. You, you go in a helicopter. Would that be exciting? I'd yeah. sit on a on the on here on a donkey's bum. <laughs> you go on a donkey. Why would you go on a donkey, Daniel? Because it would run. Because I would just hit it, and then it would run so bad it would get me in <laughs> <laughs> It's not a racehorse. Yeah. <laughs> Mummy, what would you choose? Oh, I quite like the look of that Lamborghini, Daddy. You turn up in that. Actually, yeah. I'll go, and if it doesn't run, I'll just shoot it with, with the dang Oh, the Daniel. You go in the tank. So you, why are you going in the Lamborghini? Because it looks pretty cool. Yeah? Yeah. And it, I think it'd be quite fast. I quite like fast cars. I think if I, my party was next to water, I think I'd love to turn up in this because I just think that looks amazing. Mm. Um, and I like the fact that they've got a clear scene. It might not be the gospel scene. If, if, <laughs> yeah. if my party was underwater, I'd go on a helicopter. And if we, uh, if um, um, and if when we got to water, I'd just jump into the water and have the party and the yeah, water. Yeah, we should have put a submarine in there, really. Yeah, we? we should have. Okay, can I show you another picture? We're going to show this picture here. It's taken from Harry and Meghan's wedding procession. Uh, so, wedding. again, you can find this on a different kind of King resources. So, I'd like to have a little look. What this is taken say? from a wedding, right? Can you see the two people in a carriage who have got married? There's two. There's a lot going on in this picture, isn't there? Yeah, that. And where's Where's the that woman that's got married? That? Yeah, and and who did she get married to? This oh, man. Can you see the people in this picture? that look like soldiers. What's uh, this? What's this man doing? What's he doing, Isaac? Can you see what he's doing? He looks like shark shooting. Oh, he look. It's not shooting. He's, he's playing. playing the trumpet. He's playing the trumpet, isn't he? And all these people, do you think they uh, they look happy? Yes. Yeah, yeah, what are they doing? They're clapping, aren't they? And cheering. They're, they're like, yeah, yeah go! 
<laughs> yeah, so they're celebrating, aren't they? They're celebrating because they're seeing. Yeah, you got good. Okay, they're celebrating because. Boys, are we listening? Yeah. Because they're seeing this prince and princess come past. Okay, we're going to read the story today, um, which talks about <laughs> which <laughs> talks about a, a king a arriving, but into Jerusalem. But he's not just the king oh. of England; he's the king of the universe. So, are we ready to read our story? Mm. Cool. All right, are we sitting nicely? Yeah. I'm sitting like a. I'm sitting with my legs crossed, really nicely, okay. ready to listen. Are you sitting really Good. nicely, ready to listen, Daniel? Yeah. So our scripture today is taken from, sorry Isaac, are you okay? Matthew 21, 1 to 11. So here we go. Are we ready? Yes. Yeah. So it's the story of Jesus enters Jerusalem. So Matthew 21, 1 to 11. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, I tell, tell him that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfil what was spoken through the prophet. Say to the daughter of Zion, See, your king comes to you, gentle and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt, placed their cloaks on them, and Jesus sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of them and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest! When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowd answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. Good. So, boys, can I ask you some questions? Were you listening to that story? Yeah. Okay, so my first question is, what, which one of these transports did Jesus use to enter Jerusalem? So you used one of them. What do you think it was? Uh... This one. And what's this that one? one? Donkey. It was a donkey. Jesus. Uh, first, was... first, I chose the donkey, then the tank, then mm. the helicopter, then I was going to boat, then, then the Lamborghini. Okay. But which one did then Jesus the choose? Then the helicopter. Then the plane. Yeah. Then the plane. Okay. He chose the middle one. So Jesus chose the donkey. Do you think the donkey's the fastest one out of no. all of those? No. Which one do you think's the fastest? The car. Lamborghini. So Jesus didn't choose the fastest. Which one do you think is the best one for shooting and for the army? The, the tank, yeah, because it's got a big gun. But he didn't choose the tank, did he? He chose the donkey. Okay. okay, how did the crowds react to Jesus? Do, do you remember? Were they happy to see Jesus? Yeah, they were like... Do you remember what it was that they said? <laughs> they said something. Hello, hello. It wasn't hello, <laughs> it was hi... I can't hi's. Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna. Yeah. Hosanna. Yeah, it was Hosanna. Hosanna. And they said, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Okay, here we go. So it says, What signs do we see that Jesus is the king? So what signs do we see? So what did the do you remember what the people did? They put what did they put on the floor? They put cloaks. Cloaks? So it's a bit cloaks. like Getting their getting their cloaks that were wrapped round them. Yeah, like, right. This is my. And they put them cloak. on the road like this. Do you want to put this them? This is my cloak, and I'm gonna put. My Why do you think they did that? Why do you think they put their cloaks on the floor? I don't know, but they would definitely get muddy by the donkey. Oh, I know. That's a good mm. point, isn't it? But it's because Jesus was really important, wasn't it? It's a bit like when celebrities go to big events. They they put a red carpet down, mm -hmm. and it's only for the important people to walk on. So it's a bit like putting a red carpet down for Jesus because people recognised that he was really important, and they thought he shouldn't be walking on the dusty mud. So they put their cloaks down so that he could walk on that instead. So we're going to do a song now. And um, so if we just turn around, so you're looking for on YouTube or Spotify, Graham Kendrick, the Servant King. 
Now, due to license restrictions, we can't play that for you in full now, but if you look at Spotify or YouTube, you're looking for Graham Kendrick, The Servant King. Okay, we're going to sing that now. You guys sing that in your homes, and then we'll rejoin you in a moment. Okay, so for our craft activity, again on the um, a different kind of king resources, uh, you're going to choose a type of palm leaf. So you can choose either this one or this one. Oh, that's the wrong way round. This one says Hosanna. Again, if you've got a printer, feel free to print them. Uh, download and print. If you haven't got a printer, then that's fine. Just probably suggest choose this one. Uh, and just draw a really simple palm leaf uh, on some paper. Then what we're going to do is you can either colour your palm leaf uh, or you can think of a word of praise. So the crowd shouted Hosanna or blessed is he. Or you might want to put the servant king. And we're going to write that word of praise in um, our palm leaf. And then I'd like you to stick it up somewhere in your house that you're going to uh, see it during the week and you're going to remember... To, that Jesus is worthy of our praises. So boys, we're going to choose this one. Uh, so I'm going to give you, Isaac, that one. And Daniel, I'm going to give you I've that been one. colouring it first. And I'd like you to have a go at colouring, and then you can either... What colour are leaves? Write Hosanna. Green. Green. Daniel, you could maybe write Hosanna in yours, couldn't you? No, Isaac, if you lean on here, lean on here, it'll colour properly. I don't want to... That's okay, you don't have to, darling. You can just colour it and then we'll cut it out in a minute. Whilst they're doing their colouring and crafts, I'm going to just share with you a reflection. So, in a Palm Sunday story, we see Jesus entering Jerusalem to great excitement. But even though this is almost like a parade or a procession, rather than the great carnival spectacles that we might be used to seeing, there's only Jesus on a donkey. I wonder what image you chose as a mode of transport you would use to go to a celebration if you were the King of England. A Lamborghini? Maybe a helicopter? Well, Jesus is the king of the universe, but rather than coming with horses or camels or soldiers, it's just him on a donkey. Why? Well, because Jesus is a different type of king, not a warrior king, but a servant king who comes not to be served, but to serve. But the crowds are still excited by him. They sense he's powerful and shout Hosanna as they spread their cloaks on the road. The passage even says that people are so excited that it caused a stir in the city. We can also be excited by Jesus. He's our king and we choose to follow him. He is worthy of our praise and hopefully we make time every day to reflect that and to thank God for who he is. But Palm Sunday only makes sense because of Easter. A week later, Jesus will be walking out of Jerusalem with the crowd also shouting, but this time they'll be shouting, crucify him. I wonder which crowd you're in. Does the way you live show you love Jesus and treat him as your king? Or are you ashamed and embarrassed of Jesus? Ultimately, we will all need to make a decision whether Jesus is our king or not. We can't just pretend it doesn't matter. So as we enter Holy Week, maybe take some time to reflect on what makes Jesus so special. What words of praise would you use to describe him? And how are you going to learn from the image of a servant king to serve others? So we're going to move into our time of prayer. So during our prayer time, we're going to be thinking about words of praise that we would use to describe our king who is worthy. Now, one of my favourite YouTube videos uh, with, with somebody speaking out words of praise for Jesus uh, is called That's My King. And it's part of a sermon by S.M. Lockridge. So if you put into YouTube, That's My King. S M Lockridge, that's L O C K R I D G E. Oh. You should find this video here, so we'll just turn the camera around so you can see. Again, um, we can't show you the video ourselves uh, because of license issues, but if you put it up and watch it as a family, uh, then that would be great.
But look, we just got loads of words uh, to say to praise Jesus and describe his king. I love when he talks like the grave couldn't hold him uh, and that whole bit. So for me, that's really powerful and a great intro to Holy Week. So I want to say thank you to Jesus for being full of grace. Thank you, Jesus, that you love us. Thank you, Jesus, that you're more powerful than the coronavirus. Thank you, Jesus, that you have a plan for our lives. Thank you, Jesus, that you love even the people that we struggle to love. Thank you, Jesus, that you teach us how to live our lives. And thank you, Jesus, that you're patient with us. OK, great stuff. So maybe you want to add some of your own words of praise. Uh, so we're going to finish just by praying that we might learn from the serving king. So, Father God, I want to pray that you can help me and us uh, to learn how to serve better. So, serve in our homes. I pray that I'm a better servant in looking after my children. I pray that I'm a better neighbour to the people on my street. I pray that I'm a better friend uh, to those um, that who, who I, I love and care about. And I pray for those that I don't necessarily know so well, that I can learn to serve them as well and i just pray all of that and i pray for all of you guys out there as well uh, that that god really blesses you this holy week in jesus name amen amen